Welcome to another Indie Bundle and this time I bring you a pair of really interesting shooter games. Let's check it out. First up we have Super Hot, which you may recognise from the 2013 browser demo. If you're not familiar with it, the game itself explains it best. Time moves only when you move. So when you're running around it's like a standard first person shooter and then you come to a stop. And so does everything else. Bullets will slow down to a crawl and enemies will freeze in their place, which is typically aiming at you. So in a way, Superhot is kind of more like a puzzle game as you're trying to determine the best plan of action to try to take out all the enemies once you decide to start the chaos again. It is just a super cool game. The style is great and mid-game you'll often find yourself dodging bullets by mere millimetres before taking your empty gun, throwing it at an enemy, snatching theirs, shooting them with it and then shooting the three enemies that are lining up behind you and when you see this in full speed at the end of every level you look like a gosh darn action hero so long as you ignore the clunky gun shooty animation even the menu wrapping in the story makes you feel like some sort of cyberpunk 90s hacker it's just a shame that there isn't enough of the game here. The story is completed in about ooh, two hours, and sure you have the endless mode and the challenges, but they can't compare to the highly authored, well-designed scenarios presented in the main campaign. The idea for Superhot was so refreshing when it came out in 2013, so I'm so glad that Team Superhot have, have managed to execute its vision here in its full game. Up next we have Devil Daggers from Melbourne developer Sawrath. The game drops you into the middle of an arena that's endlessly spawning demons. You are armed with a hand that shoots out daggers and you have to survive as long as possible before all the demons inevitably engulf you. If you've ever played Quake or Unreal or any other 90s shooter then the game will be very familiar to you in its style. If not, it's kind of unpleasant to look at for long periods of time, which is kind of contrary to your desire to play it over and over again to beat your high score. For you see, Devil Daggers is a high score chaser. All the pieces are there. It is a game of endurance and skill. And the game gives you the tools to master. The controls are incredibly tight and the aiming and audio are pin points. Not to mention the fact that enemies will spawn at a regular time always so the only variance is in you being able to kill all the demons you've having said that though you'll only get about 20 seconds in your first couple of runs with some practice you maybe get up to 40 but thankfully all your high scores are uploaded to a leaderboard so you can compete with friends and also find out how the hell the number one person can make 10 minutes when you can't even make one but there isn't much variety here, especially given that you'll be going through that first minute over and over again. But if you can get over the difficulty and the grind, then it can be a very rewarding experience as you eventually cut through the waves of demons and even beat your high score by fractions of a second. That does it for this edition of the Indie Bundle. Tune in next time for more awesome indie games.